So here we are given the sketch graph of f of x, which is negative 9 over x minus 1 minus a 2. Now, how are we going to find the coordinates of a? We will have y equal to a negative 2. What is this negative 2? This negative 2 is our horizontal asymptote. We also have what? x equal to a positive 1. We will x equal to a positive 1. This is a vertical asymptote. Therefore, the coordinate of A must read as what? As 1 and a 2. So the answer for A should say 1 and a 2. Now let's look at the second question. Every time the question says find the x-intercept, you always make y zero. Every time the question says find the y-intercept, you always make x to be a zero. So what is my y-intercept as a coordinate? I made x a zero and I obtained the value of y, which was a 7. It means, what is your x-intercept now? It will be negative 7 over 2 and what? And a 0. How to find the domain of hyperbola? You are going to say x is an element of real numbers. x is an element of real numbers, but x is an element of real no one. So this is now my domain. I guess check here and arrange it. It means what is going to be my range? I'm going to say y is an element of real numbers, but y must not be equal to the asymptotes. So y is going to be a negative 2. You get a mark, you get a mark. Write down the equations of the axis of the symmetry. This is the equation which says y equals x minus 3. That is your line of symmetry. This 2, low na low. I'm a line of symmetry. The reflection along the y-axis and the reflection along the x-axis. So there are two reflections in Minnesota card. It's the reflection along the y-axis and the x would have been negative. And the reflection along the x-axis and the y would have been negative. The reflection along the x-axis and the reflection along the line y equal to zero in the auto. So if you see this, this movement, from here to here, we actually negative. It means this point was reflected along the y-axis. But if I reflect the very same point along the x-axis, we are not a negative man. Y. So what would be the new point? Is it x and a negative y? Let's reflect this equation across the y-axis. F of a negative x. This is minus 9 over x. You have a negative x. You have a negative x. Now minus 1 is a corner. Minus 2. You can say a negative divided by negative to give you what now? A 9 over x plus 1 minus 2. This is the new equation. It comes right. This equation is the result of reflecting f of x along the what? The x axis. But this equation is the result of reflecting f of x along the what? The y-axis. What is happening when you shift the graph? So what I need to emphasize here is that if the movement is towards your right, when you go to the equation, you replace x with x minus the, the, the shift. But if the movement is towards your left, you go to the equation, you replace x with x plus so that you can be able to find the correct value.